Hey guys, it's Tracy Lynn Cowan and we are live here today at the Martial Arts Celebrity Fest with the host himself and the man that put this all together, Steve Ross. Hi Tracy, thank you very much. It's been a great day. Oh, you have put on such a phenomenal, phenomenal seminar, uh, festival today. I mean, it's been extraordinary. And some of the, actually the top dogs of the industry. So you don't mess around, Steve. When he's brought in TJ Storm, Cynthia Rothrock, Art Camacho, and Don the Dragon Wilson. Wow, what a lineup. What an absolute lineup. And you know, what was really amazing to me, when we started off this event, we had everybody raise their hand just to see where everybody's from. And we had, you know, I would say about one quarter of the people from the U.S., but we had about I would say 50 people from the from the European nations they all over the world and it was absolutely incredible that they came here to Southern California for this event they did and Canadians a lot of Canadians Absolutely. and so uh, this is the first annual martial arts celebrity celebrity fest and it's not gonna be the last we know that because this is incredible and we got to continue this every year you did such a great job Steve well thank you very much you know they came out with birth of a dragon this year and you know now we got the birth of the celebrity fest so yeah. that's the first let's hope it just keeps going we just we just established the path tonight yeah tell us how how did this come about for you was this just a vision a plan well, where did it come from well Actually, the idea came to me when I was actually receiving an award last year. Okay. At the award, um, I was so ecstatic, ecstatic about it, I went to brag to some of my friends that I got this from Don Wilson or that from Cynthia, and they go, who's that? And I went, oh my gosh, you got to be and, and I forgot that today's generation was has not been inspired like we were growing up on the weekends. Every weekend, I would watch Kung Fu Theater, yeah. and I'd see all these martial arts, and Don and Cynthia, these guys gave me our inspiration today. So I talked to them about a year ago, would you be interested in just trying to create a resurgence? Back in Hollywood, we got a new generation of martial artists out there, really good martial artists. Yeah. So how do we get them to the door, get them into Hollywood? Yeah. Well, Martial Arts Celebrity Fest was the idea that started all that. I love it. So it not only was it a festival, but a seminar. How to, you know, like kicks and how to get in the business and so many other things that are so important for these action actors, stunt people that want to come into this industry and they really don't know how. And you put that platform together so they were able to do it. These people are so fired up right now and I, they're so excited. And I mean, there's a lot of knowledge in here, a lot of wisdom from yes, these four top class act people here today. Uh, I only hope hope we can outdo it next year when we try to do it again. So, and, I mean, it's just we been will. great. <laughs> we will. Steve, you're also a grandmaster, martial artist. I mean, you've you've been doing this for a while and your experience is phenomenal. We just actually had you on the show, Hollywood Vibe Sports and Life, and sharing your story. But how did you get into the business? Well, I got into a business kind of via Hollywood. I grew up a scrawny little kid um, in an old, old small town and then I was always picked on like you know it happens with a lot of young kids and then one day I saw this movie called Billy Jack and he was the protector of the innocent and he was a small guy and he really kicked butt and I went oh my gosh I want to be just like that guy and lo and behold it's like the universe opened up and a month later a guy walks into our small little town passes out a karate flyer that he wants to teach lessons I started training six months after that happened a bully tried to pick on me and let's just say I had the bully on the run for the first time in my life and I've been hooked that's been let's say over 47 years ago I haven't stopped since <laughs> Phenomenal. I love that story. It makes me so happy to hear that. And I think it's so important for not only action acting and stunts and us getting onto the big screen in the movies, but it's also great to learn this stuff, martial arts, uh, to be able to protect yourself and for self-defense. Absolutely. And one, that's one of the key things. Not only have we started Martial Arts Celebrity Fest, but about f five years ago, I'm the co-founder of something that's called the International Day of Women's Self-Defense. And it's all to bring awareness to help women to learn about to protect themselves and so you know, like yourself Tracy you started training with a good friend of mine Spice Williams and yes. heard the things that she does yeah. well, Spice and I worked have worked together on many different things and each year we offer this free seminar and uh, and it's not just here but it's done around the world the first year we did this it was supposed to be just a, a national campaign mm -hmm. and it went uh, global the first year it had five different countries now we've got over 20 different countries and martial arts studios in every country and all these 20 countries they open up their studios 
studios one day each year and offer free women's self-defense classes just to get the women to bring awareness about their surroundings. And I love that. Thank you for doing that for me, being a woman, and also as well as for our children Absolutely. and our children's children and, to, you know, as it comes. And we just keep evolving and learning. And so you can never have enough skills to be able to save yourself and protect your life. It's so important. Like you said, just making sure you're getting home. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. It's Thank always about that. being aware of your surroundings at all times. Yeah, so. absolutely. So how do we get on board with that so that we can get, you know, the girls out to these seminars as well? Uh, well, for the, for the Women's Self-Defense Seminars, this year it's going to be done on November the 18th. Okay, okay? watch social media. It's all going to be blasted around there. There is a, my, uh, the, my co-founder is, um, um, his name is Bobby. He owns a company called Fodata. And Fodata is our um, sponsor that, that, that does this. And um, so we're, uh, November 18th, we're doing one here at the Renaissance Club Sport. There's going to be one probably done at UC Irvine as well. Okay. And so just, just watch the social media. We're going to start blasting it here this next month. And under your social media, under Steve Ross? Uh, yes, under Steve Ross. Okay. Any Instagram or anything like that, Steve? I'm just learning about Instagram, but I do have an Instagram on Steve Ross too, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll teach you. Again, phenomenal event. Thank you for pouring your heart into this event Thank today. You. And uh, we know that everyone's going to come out to show their support for next year and in the years to come. And, uh, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for all that you do. And I know that TJ, Cynthia, Dawn, and Art have all extended their warmest welcome and said thank you for what you've done today. Well, thank you, so, Tracy, and it's great to have people like you who want to share this, this vision with us. And for those of you that miss this, don't miss next year. It's going to be no. bigger and better. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And I know that we've got uh, Hall of Fame. We've got the yeah, Legends of the Martial Arts Hall of Fame coming up in about an hour from now. And we got bigger, more celebrities coming to that event as well. It's going to be an awesome time. Amazing. Thank you so much, Steve. And we will definitely be here next year and the years to come. Thank you. Thank you very much.